Hey, what's going on everybody? This is the Review Man, and today I'm going to start a new series called Wednesday Words. And that's just basically where I take an item or something within a series, the worst of that, and review it and rain on it. Today I'm going to review Batman Arkham Origins the game. This is the third game in the Arkham Origin in the Arkham series. But it's a prequel of sorts, which I don't like prequel of the games. Pretty much you play as Batman and you got a target with eight assassins on your head. Eight assassins pointing targets at your head. And you basically gotta fight them on Christmas Eve. Turns out one of the assassins is actually the Joker doing all the dirty work. And the Joker over takes over the pop action. You gotta go through all this stuff. You gotta go to the penguins. You gotta go to the penguin ship. And you gotta fight him. You gotta defeat one of the assassins. And you gotta go over here, do this, do this, do this. And if you're an Arkham, and if you're a Batman fan, I am too. But I think Arkham Origins is the worst Batman game ever. And after you defeat the game, you have to. And after you defeat the game. When you turn the, your um, console back on, it'll say corrupted message and that makes you have to go ahead and redo everything over again. But anyway, on to the review. This is about Batman fighting eight assassins on Christmas Eve. And Batman thinks Black Mask or Roman Sionis is over, uh, controlling everything, but it's actually the Joker controlling everything. And all through the game, you're fighting all these assassins. You're interacting with Penguin, Joker, Freeze. Actually, you're not interacting with Freeze. Freeze is in the DLC, the downloaded content page. But as the game goes on, you find the assassins start getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Until in the end, you track Joker, Bane, and a few other people back to the prison in the beginning of the game and in that you have to fight Bane but Joker has Bane hooked up to an electric chair and the more they the more his heartbeat races the more Detective Jim Gordon has to be electrocuted and in this game if you play the other two games Oracle Jim Gordon's uh, daughter shows how she met Batman and how she's working with Batman and it's pretty much the beginning of Batman which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because the gadgets you have in the game are the gadgets that you had in the previous game and the upgrade system is pretty weak because every time you do something you get an upgrade every time you do that you get an upgrade but other besides that, it's a pretty good game. It's the worst because, first of all, it's a prequel to the whole Arkham series, which, you know, February, March, April, May, June. In June is when the new um, Batman Arkham game comes out, Batman Arkham Knight, in which if I um, in which Scarecrow and Poison Ivy work together to defeat Batman and in this one Batman he meets a whole bunch of people pretty much it's like a video game version of Gotham if you've been watching the show Gotham pretty much it's a video game version of that so I give Arkham Batman Arkham Origins a, th a 2 out of 5 stars and one thumb up so anyway guys if you check the game out check it out leave in the comments of the worst stuff that you know I'm Josh the review man or whatever I'm the review man and next time actually tomorrow I'm gonna start another series called throwback Thursday review where I review anything that was before 2005. Anything before 2005 is a throwback store. Thursday review. So check me out next time, guys. I'm the review man. Peace out.